Welcome on back, Cloud City, to another episode on Final Fantasy 16. Picking up where we left off, we just completed the Blacksmith Blues side quest for Blackthorn, and we completed a nice majority of the bounties. We have one left, got into an A rank. Um, we'll save that for a, another time. We are ready to continue our main scenario progress. So let's talk to Otto, see what he's got in store for us. Otto, is now a good time? Mm. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Ooh, anyway, hello. while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. Another waifu. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... <laughs> oh, I like her. I like her a lot. I wonder what Mid's plotting. I know she's over there, but I want to see what's over here. Let's head this time. Yeah. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? Must be hard. You heard what became of the place. No, the capitals are strange. To me. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to her. I'm not seeing chests or anything. into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. There you go. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If sick could see you now. All right? 
Wow, what a name. Mid Medadal Telemon? Daughter of Sid and student of engineering at the University of Canver from a young age, Mid showed the same passion for invention as her father and an even greater aptitude. She is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for So me. she's the daughter of Sid. Apart from the wood. I'll need she's a the mother. That, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Hmm. Blonde. I wonder if it's Benedicta. Where does it start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. If I go to you, will you tell me? I'm here for another of my lectures. How may I help you today? The grand cast. I have. Okay, Sid's daughter. Well, deceased, obviously, you can't. She's just a big puppy. Captain of the Invincible. She's as brave as anything. I seriously wonder who the mother is. I'll tear it apart with my bare hands. Yeah, you don't have any hands. So that's that's my next question is who is the father of mid or not father mother the little ones have been up to their old tricks again Jill looked white as a sheet when they put was wondering where you got to mid's back from Canva have you seen her just now She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This slow. Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? <laughs> Obviously, he's busy for you from mid. She requires certain tools. To 
You think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. We'll, uh... My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Where is he at? Oh, what? It's all right. Oh, okay. He's at the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. Going down. Master Sid? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Okay, so make for Martha's rest. I was just there. <laughs> oh, Martha, I would like to steal your carpenter. If you'll allow me. <laughs> A sign said fingering. Drive. What brings you to the rest? Uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there then. The ruins of... The ruins of Cressida. Where the fuck's that? Okay, so we've here had like we're heading towards the green sheaves, which was I think this way, wasn't it? No, it's this way. Hmm. Get right about here. Come on. And let's make a break. All oh, y'all level 19. Not too worried about it.
Probably should have gotten high potions, but oh well. He just life. fixed that bridge because that bridge Welcome was broken earlier. Like you do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. All right. Slay the creatures. Don't mind if I do. Alright, Torgo, let's go. This shouldn't take long. Let's just uh get right here and whoop. fuck you all. approaching oh hello nice to nice to meet you buddy Mistimed it.
Okay, we're already back up to 910. That should do it. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. For now. We're gonna be How back, long is right? It since the village was abandoned. Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. I roll to Mid. Okay. Let's head on back. Alright, Clive. You've all done then? I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait! She's so happy. Let's complete getting to work. Oh, so close. So cool. Oh, dude, I haven't messed with Titan yet. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see. Uh, let's go to gear and icons. Let's go to the second one here. The slap on Titan. I mean, I honestly like how everything's set up here, so let's stick with that. Ooh, wait, ignition though. Mission is good. I still want to keep Flames of Rebirth. Then this Aerial Blast. Uh, dude, Gouge is too good for stun. Now Titan, no. Let's see what do I want. <sighs> Forward hold button to wind up. Back for their increasing potency. That looks gnarly. Oh, raging fist looks so good. Thing is, though, Heat Wave has saved my ass so many times from from like countering uh, range attacks i'm gonna have a hard time getting rid of that what's my next upgrade to heat wave a thousand oh that's the master i want to master heat wave i use that thing so okay. fucking much oh we have some side quests to grab We'll probably go ahead and do that first. Is it just the two? Just the two. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but... This was days ago. 
They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. Go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. Why are you apologizing? The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Me and my best friend. The weight of command. Okay, now let's go in here and check this stuff out. See how Jill's doing. Ah, uh, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I oh, know. I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Yeah, we'll help him out. What you need. We get renowned. You'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Do no harm. Doctor, do no harm. Okay, so let's go talk to Gav. See what he found out about Torgal, and then we'll wrap up. Because we're approaching 30 minutes. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. 
What do you reckon, Torms? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. She's Jill. From the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Torgal his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Hey, wait, what? <laughs> there you are! Oh, Jesus. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. So, what throws me off, though... They said that Jill is Torgal's master, but yet when you looked at the inner voice, it uh, it kept like Torgal's thoughts or Torgal's inner voice was calling Clive his master. So I don't know that kind of it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. I think I'll wait till Okay, what are we at? We're at 34. Well, let's go ahead and wrap up here. And in the next one, we'll go talk to, to Vivian. Stay tuned. We'll have more Final Fantasy 16 coming your way.